Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere I don't need any hero to save me I don't know why the kids are always crying I've been thinking about all the captains But we left in a wasted planet I thought I had it all to Good morning everyone so today's project is gonna be the uh, replacement of the brake pads for the Mercedes ML430 uh, goes along with the same brake system as the ML500 it's a 2001 so I'm gonna show you the uh, proper way to do it get it done and it's easy all right so we got the wheels out and this is the brake system so the way to replace this is you have to remove these two cotter pins, take out the shim, and then your brake pads will easily pull out. And uh, make sure, be careful, remove that sensor right there. It's, a, it's an easy uh, takeoff. It's inserted into the bat pad, so you just got to remove that, put it on the side, and then take your cotter pins one and two um, just you know bang it with a hammer just to remove it out of place going towards that way and then pull it out one by one and then that that will release this uh, shim the brake shim that holds the uh, pads together and then you're able to pull out the uh, pads on each side so after you remove those um, shims you got to make sure you push the uh, pads or the brake calipers back to reset so one going this way on the outside and then the other one going that way on the inside you just use um, a regular pry bar or a big screwdriver to just kind of push them all the way in so that you'll have room to put in a new one okay so we'll take the video of the whole process after we get the uh, necessary parts Alright, so the first thing we got to do is remove the wheel before we get to the access to the pads. And then we'll show Jared how it's done. And I'll put a little light. And once he's done with that, he's going to put the wheels on the side so we can start working on the pads. This one is the knockout for the so punch tool to knock out the uh, the uh, cotter pin that's holding the brake pads. I'll show you. looking at it right here these are the cotter pins that needs to be removed see this mm -hmm. see this one pin and then the next pin is right here all you got to do is put that thingy through here and bang it with a hammer to push that out and that'll push the shimmy out right. okay hang on all right hang on one second then we need to take off this before you remove that, always gotta remove the sensor. The sensor. Nice and easy. Then you gotta put it on the side. Gotta be gentle with it. It's only made with rubber. There you go. See? Just remember that slot, that hole there. So you put that on the side right here. Alright, now we gotta start banging on that cotter pin. Yeah. yeah. Got the hammer? No. Right here. Yeah. Then you bang it nice and gentle. Make sure you're in the middle. Yeah. 
there. Cut on the way. Pull it out. Make sure it's center. You're in the side there. Yeah. There you go. See? Okay. Pull that out. Then no, not yet. No. I'll keep going. No. All you got to do is pull it with a long nose. Here. Okay. Come on. Long nose. You got to work it from behind. Like so. See? No, you don't have uh, any more access. Right there. Push it through. See? Hmm. Push it through with this one. There. See, now you can access it with a long nose. And just pull it. Kind of like working. <coughs> yeah, you got the other hand. Pull it out. Like this, and when I guess hold this, you, you anchor this long nose on the bottom here, and then you work it up like that. See, see, okay, that's how you work it, and then see the shim. Hold this, hold this right there. You get to push that shim so it's loose. Yeah, see, that's one. Now we we'll get right. the bottom one. Yeah, now it's easier to get the bottom one because it's loose. You just bang it nice and gentle. See, easy. Oh, oh, came out. Now you gotta pull that out. Get the uh, other one. <laughs> yeah, okay, now you gotta push the caliper back in. So, in order to do that, let me no, let me sit there. Because there's technique. It's inside, see? You can easily pull this now. inside though there you go see you wanna wedge it in see I'm wedging it in and then as you pry it like that it pushes the caliper piston in see because you wanna push that in and then same thing for the other side but don't take take this out yet because uh, if you push this side that's gonna push Back. back out you got it so I'm gonna push this all the way in okay now I got room for this one okay so keep that in there see because you want to get all those pistons reset at zero Okay, so remember how this one came out again? Let's see, push it again. And then while you're holding that one, we set this one. There you go. So they're both in nice and loose okay now what you're gonna do is this look 
pull one out. Nice and easy. Bam. Mm. Okay, give me one of those uh, new pads. Hold it on the side, just one. Okay. So you put it in, the pad's facing the rotor, like so. Okay. So it's gonna drop right there. Oops. Okay. Gotta get the other one. And then get the other uh, pads ready. There you go. Bam. So now. Put the pins back. Yeah, but you gotta put a grease. Uh, give me that orange stuff. Take the top off. So put a grease on your so cotter pin. It's a quieter too. Supposed to make it quiet. So when you put that in through the hole, there. Make sure it's in line. Yep. And put the top piece back. Mm -hmm. Make sure you align your products. Oops, see that one? There you go. Make sure it's in the hole. Make sure it's in the hole. Give me the uh, other screwdriver, I mean uh, plier. On the other one, the pin. See, that's simple. Five hundred dollar job, right? Put the cover on that.
see. Okay, step on the brake. Don't start it, just step on it, okay? Wait, 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 I gotta bang it one more. I'll let you know when, okay? Okay, step. Step hard. You step? Yep. Okay, start it. Okay, now step on the brake. Step hard. One more. Good, how is it? Is it floored? Mm. Huh? Mm. I know, that's why I gotta put the uh, adjust the bleeder. See, this is the bleeder nut right here. This one we gotta adjust. Someone wants to step on it. Wait a minute. 